Hey there YouTube, BadFatPanda here, and I have another commentary for you guys. This time it is a domination on sub-base. I do believe this is ground war, but I'm not 100% certain until I actually get the loading screen. What am I going to be using? Alright, I just unlocked the AUG bar. And, uh, yes. <laughs> can, can just completely flame me for saying that. Because I was 100% I was serious. But, um, AUG is a really good gun. I like it a lot. Uh, it's classified as an LMG, even though it's more lovely a lot, uh, like an assault rifle. But you don't really need a grip on it. I'm not sure if I have that equipped. If it is, the only reason I have it on the uh, the gun is because oh, triple thumper. Oh, Grizz. I really I everybody hates on this map. Um, for domination, it, especially in ground war, it can get a bit campy. And uh, if you control B, it's probably one of the easiest wins in the game. Um, if your team doesn't flip spawns, like, <laughs> so many, so many people, I don't understand how this game's been out for two years and people still don't know, understand how to play Domination. But, I get a, uh, no scope headshot with a light machine gun, because I'm cool like that. And this is, people will run into this spot, and they'll never, they'll never think twice about, wait, there's somebody to the left of me? They always just keep their head forward, it's like, it's like the easiest free kill in the game. So you always just keep coming back to that spot if you happen to play Grandma. That and any of the uh, chokes, if you happen to have high ground. I think I should have won that fight if I would have had a uh, stronger connection. But then again, he had a UMP stopping power. But uh, I'm not going to talk about the gameplay 100% of the time. Lucky double kill, lol. Uh, but I was actually going to direct this uh, toward... I think I'm going to take this in two directions. Um, the first, the second sort of pronging out of the... Uh, out of the first. First topic I want to discuss is E3. Um, there were a couple of expectations that I had that sort of didn't come true, that made me sort of a sad panda, um, which is unfortunate. But uh, it's, it's nothing like dramatic. I think that the amount of good content we, we saw from it is, is pretty cool. Especially, I know I've gone over this before, but Uncharted 3 is coming out this year. It's, I'm really looking forward to that because uh, Uncharted 2 is such a good game. And so is the first one. I got the first one free. I uh, a friend loaned it to me when I got my PS3. But it was actually uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, which was oh oh and the C spawn trap. Unfortunately, we had this flip like three times because uh, teammates cap C, and you know if you cap C, they actually switch lawns. Who would have guessed, right? But no, this is this is incredibly dirty and broken, and they're not going to patch it. So uh, high five. But um, they, I think one of the one key disappointment I had was that there was no mention of uh, Grand Theft Auto V. That sort of made me, made me a bit sad, considering the casting list uh, for the voice acting uh, that was leaked, and it just seemed that they haven't really gone public with anything yet, and if they were going to, probably the best forum they could want would be uh, E3. Such as Twisted Metal uh, did last year. But unfortunately, we didn't actually see any mention of uh, E3, or any sort of... Uh, new Rockstar game that would be unveiled. I guess it's relatively close to uh, the debut of L.A. Noir, but um, I don't know. I can always dream, but uh, unfortunately we didn't We didn't see any GTA. So I, w I was a bit disappointed by that, not gonna lie. Um, the second disappointment, I don't know if it's as much of a straight up, uh, it's definitely not anywhere close to the um, the disappointment that I had with GTA, but uh, the hipfire spread is also incredibly accurate on the AUG. For those of you wondering, or still haven't tried out the gun after two years. Troll a little. Um, but the other big disappointment was the fact that there were actually no multiplayer details uh, revealed about Modern Warfare 3. And uh, considering story-wise uh, and multiplayer-wise, really the only thing <laughs> the only thing that changes from, uh, from game to game every two years, uh, I don't think that there will be any like game-breaking uh, graphics and graphic improvements. I think that uh, Modern Warfare 2 was pretty stellar, and uh, Call of Duty 4 was actually, despite the fact that you go back six years to, to take a look at the game, um, it, it was graphically, vastly graphically superior to any other uh, game out there, especially uh, online FPS at the time. And uh, Ooh Baby a triple? Oh, Ooh Baby a fail. That was pretty hardcore. Hardcore fail right there. Unfortunate. I think it did pretty well this game, though. This is pretty much the way I play. I just like to run in their spawn and kill them. Because who needs a silencer when you uh, can just run around? Unfortunately, I got shanked. That's that's a problem about being in a spawn too long. But it's always 
you always willing to give it up if you get Harriers on this map, because they do work. But, uh, the... I'll continue touching on Modern Warfare 3. So, it, what really bothered me was that they did, uh, in Modern Warfare 2, they gave a single player reveal, but they also gave uh, multiplayer footage. Um, I'm assuming that they're going to have some sort of reveal event sometime soon, uh, maybe toward the end of the summer at this point, since they haven't done anything yet. But uh, I am, it's really pretty much just the perks uh, that are going to change, and the guns that are going to change. Some of the skins may even be, some of the guns may actually be just patched in. But uh, alas, it will be one more, uh, one more FPS on the market. I'm still not 100% if I'm going to buy it or not, but I, I think I might. All depends on how awesome Battlefield 3 is going to be. And I think actually with the trailers that they released on that in E3, uh, even after, I, they did two days back to back where they released some some new new content, which is uh, really cool. And I, the Battlefield has like by far the greatest support of any FPS out there. Uh, Halo is, is close second, I think, in my book, but uh, Halo 4 actually. I know I've already talked about this, but if you still haven't seen the trailer, take a look at it. I think it's on the last, um, it, it is the last event at the Microsoft press conference, if you just want to check that out solely. But uh, also a new, um, well, a PlayStation phone, I believe, that has actually been in the works for like four years. <laughs> they, there have been like rumors of leaks. Uh, oh, I finally pulled out, I, I don't know if I pulled out my UMP class because I was getting pissed off or if I uh, or if I picked one up. No, this is actually my UMP class because I have flash shield on this. This is for people that either noob tube or try hard. I just pulled this out. Oh my god, it's such a it's such a good gun. I mean, I there there are certain things that were overpowered. Oh, that was actually kind of funny kill. Um, there are always certain things that are overpowered, but it it's what makes them. Is it a five man? I think that was a five man. Oh yeah. Um, the re the reason a lot of people say things are overpowered is because they haven't really everything else that they're comparing them to is is weak. Like if you look in Black Ops, most of the guns feel like BB guns. And then you have something like the FAMAS or the, the AK-74U. The FAMAS rate of fire is just like so freaking high. Um, and the 74U just does so much damage comparatively. But uh, I don't think that they were relatively overpowered. Um, the UMP, I think, was on the flip side. I think it was actually slightly, slightly broken. But um, noob tubes were definitely worse. And Blast Shield is always, as it saves my ass again. I think I even have a silencer on this. I am trying so hard. Oh, yeah. But it was going to lead me into uh, this discussion about sort of my disappointments uh, for this year's E3. I know I did cover the highlights uh, in the commentary last week, or two of them, I guess. Uh, what it was going to lead into would be disappointing purchases that you've made. Um, could be gaming related, could be something completely and utterly different. Uh, I'll give you some gaming related ones. Transformers. And uh, Justin, if you're watching this commentary, talking about you. Uh, somebody happened to... Uh, let me know that I should buy the game. And I played the beta, and the beta was actually pretty good, but uh, unfortunately it had very little online support. <laughs> and the story was uh, sort of half-assed. It was by far, I think, the best Transformers game out there, but uh, it's like saying Arkham Asylum was the best Batgam... Ba oh, Batgammon. Jesus Christ. I'm playing too many board games. No, um, Batman game released. It's just, like, you had nothing to compare it to. I mean, take a look at the... Just <laughs> take a cert... Look, look at Google and just take a look at the search results for Batman games. And if you can hear that car alarm in the back and the dogs barking, I'm incredibly sorry about that. My windows are open because it's actually incredibly hot outside. Um, and I actually delayed this commentary because they were doing work in the street. So, if you're one of those people saying, what the hell is... <laughs> oh my god, and the second car alarm went off. But, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, Black Ops is definitely another one of those gaming disappointments. <laughs> See ya.